Hello, uh, I'm Paul Beckwith. I'm at the University of Ottawa in the Laboratory for Paleoclimatology. And I thought I would do this video today to um, discuss um, where we are um, now, early August, as far as the Arctic uh, sea ice is concerned, and uh, how I would expect the uh, rest of the melt season, the next five or six weeks, before the uh, minimum extent is of sea ice is reached in uh, mid-September. So I'm going to show you uh, a lot of data and uh, try to go through it for you here. So Okay. Um, so I just put up a screen um, to darken the images that you'll see on my computer screen um, so that they're uh, so it's easier there's no uh, scattered light so what we've got here is if you google arctic sea ice graphs um, and you go on that site and then you scroll down you'll see an image um, like this this is a uh, data from the Naval uh, Research Labs, and what it shows is um, this. This shows the Arctic sea ice um, thickness. So the blacks, there's some black around the edges, not much, five meters thick. Reds are four to four and a half meters. Yellows three and a half to four. Greens um, three-ish, and then the blues are two and so on. We get, as we go out, we get thinner and thinner ice. So this is the um, situation as of um, August 4th. Now, how, do we how did we arrive here this year? Um, so this, um, this is a movie of a year's worth of data. Um, so what you can see is you can see ice is flowing out through the um, Fram Strait here. Um, you can also see um, that the um, the thicker ice is in here and uh, how okay so this is about a year ago and so this is last August so the ice is decreasing to the September minimum in 2014 um, and you can see the amount of the, uh, the the various thicknesses here thicker ice up along the Canadian archipelago um, so this is so it grows in the winter and then um, when you see it start to decrease in um, area, then it's starting to melt in the melt season. So you can see the extent of the uh, thicker ice here and the thinner ice is up here. So now um, it's, and, and throughout the entire winter, there's l large amounts of export. So now it's shrinking in size and uh, you know as this year and then look at this this all vanished here within the space of about three weeks so this is the pattern that we're left with um, now this is an image that like the first one I showed you only it's an expanded view of the sea ice so five meters four meters you know three three meters you know two meters that type of thing now you can see um, a lot of this ice here, the, the green thicker ice, um, thinned out very, very quickly. So this is, uh, this is the um, data from today. Um, and there's a projection going out about a week. And you can see, I can cycle back and forth here. And so you can see, you know, over a week, um, this finger here is starting to thin out. And like I said, this is a projection. Okay, now how does this compare uh, so early August, um, how does this compare to last year? Okay, so this is last year's image. A lot more ice. Um, so this is 2014. This is August uh, 5th, 2014, 2013, and 2012. So you can see actually 2012 had the um, stronger ice, stronger and thicker ice. So 2012, 2013, 2014 and uh, today okay so you can see that we're starting off at a lot worse spot today than we did in 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 the previous three years now the important thing is that 2012 
was the year when this most of this ice the most ice vanished the minimum was the smallest so if we go to look at the september minimums this is what we had in 2014 okay this is the minimum extent in 2014 this is what it was in august so you can see you know the features are kind of shrinking um in that five or six weeks of melt from from early august to september i'll just go back again and cycle through so this is august 5th and this is uh september 15th um, last year um, the previous year 2013 this is what was left september 15th and this is what we had in august so it's interesting you can see that um, based on august um, this is ice has been compacted a lot of the outskirt the ice at the outskirts has vanished but the ice is compacted and then this is a minimum in 2012 so you can compare the minimums in 2012 to 2013 to 2014 and you can see of course that 2012 there was was the least amount of ice uh, left and I can compare that to August so sorry this is what we had in this is what we had beginning of August in 2012 and this is what we had in September okay so you can see some of the uh, features like the stripes here and here are preserved um, just much smaller but you can see how how much of the ice disappeared in that um, in, the, in those in that five weeks five to six weeks now the significant thing is if you compare this to this to this these are the minimum sea ice extents look at the amounts of reds and greens and yellows the uh, thicker ice okay and then go back here and compare it to what we have now um, and you can see that there's a lot less so we're in early August and there's a lot less of this thicker ice the blacks the reds the yellows and the greens there's a lot less of this ice than there was left over in 2012 the minimum ice ice air extent or 2013 or 2014 so how did we go the big question is, is how did we go in 2012 from this which is obviously a lot um, more ice and thicker ice than what we have today so how did we go from that uh, down to this in six weeks okay which is what happened in 2012 so here's what happened okay so this is this is um, August um, this is about three years ago so it'd be early August about August 5th in um, 2012 what happened then is there was a massive cyclone so this image now this is shifted a bit you'll notice Greenland's over here and this image shows Greenland down here but this is showing the ice motion the longer the arrows the more the ice is moving so the air above the ice is moving it's pushing the ice and the reds are the highest numbers uh, there are 30 35 40 centimeters per second to give you an idea that's uh, um, motion of the ice um, so this is August 5th of 2012 this is August 6th of 2012 so you can see these winds picking up and then August 7th of 2012 and you've got this cyclone coming in here and the wind spiraling around and this is August 8th and now it's very very intense very very long lines the ice is being ripped apart look chunks of ice are being tossed up here um, in 2012 um, so that's August 8 2012 and then the 9th this is probably the worst day uh, massive cyclone blowing chunks of ice up here um, and then the 10th it's dissipating a bit and the 11th and the 12th as it moves out of the region um, so what was left after that week of very strong cyclonic winds this is what was left okay um, and chunks were torn out here and chunks were tossed out here so you can actually see compare the this is a week earlier before that cyclone came through okay so a week earlier 
um, and then the site after the cyclone had gone through. So comparing those two images, you can see the amount of the thick ice that's been torn off, a destruction of a lot of the ice in this region. If I just cycle back and forth uh, a little bit here. Okay, so um, so that was, and then the net result was we went from, so this is uh, about August 12th of 2012, and then the September minimum ended up being like this. Okay, so the cyclone in early August contributed um, to a large extent on, on that minimum year. Um, although there have been some papers that saying it didn't, but I tend to disagree with that. So now um, what's happening this year, again, um, at this, this is uh, June 25th, uh, 2020. 15 this year. So you can see all of this ice here. Pay attention to this section here. Um, a week later, we had this. So we're losing all of this ice. And then a week after that, we had this. Okay, so we lost a lot of this ice. Now, it's, it wasn't due to cyclonic activity. I had a look at that data. Uh, what we think, or what I think has happened is it was warm water from the warm blob, all that really warm water in the North Pacific came through the Bering Strait, uh, went underneath the ice and took out the ice over the space of two weeks, that thicker ice there. Um, so this is the uh, sea surface temperature. Um, so towards the end of last year, um, and now uh, this December of last year, um, and now we're in January. Um, February. Okay, so we're getting the melt season occurring um, and you'll see a decrease. So this is where the ice extent is and then the ice will start decreasing here. The warmer water, this water here is eight, eight degrees, eight to ten degrees warm and then it goes right in here and it undercuts the ice. So this is the period where where the ice um, was severely damaged in this region here. So I think that is what is happening this year. So um, the so some of the key points um, in summary are this is the ice, uh, this is the present state of the ice. And there is very, very little thick ice, you know, the five meter, the four meter, three meter, you know, there, there, this is all the two meter, but there's very little amounts of this ice compared even to the minimum year, the minimum ice extent year in 2012, or any of these other uh, September minimums since then. Okay, so that's one key point. Um, so another key point will be that um, we reached this state because of a lot of warm water coming here. So warm water continues to come in through the Bering Strait. It continues to come up through on the Atlantic side. Um, and also, um, depending on the wind patterns, uh, there's not a lot of export right now through the Fram Strait. It's mostly melting in place. Um, but so, so this could continue. But, but the key point also is that if we have another cyclonic event, uh, similar to the ferocity of this type of thing, you know, in 2012, then that acting on the um, on this ice configuration will do a lot more damage uh, than it did in 2012. So we have uh, five or six weeks left, and the ice is a lot weaker than a lot of people think. So we could see a rapid decrease of this or you know but again it very much depends on weather conditions um, over the next five or six weeks so stay tuned uh, but there's very little ice of the thickest quantities left um, at the present in the arctic ocean so i'll end there and thank you